So after the inclusion of the word Photoshop as a verb in Colin's dictionary, it would be safe to say that today we can pretty much Photoshop anything, even videos. But what if I told you that today we can Photoshop audio? Just recently as I speak, Adobe has provided a sneak peek into its secret project codenamed Project Voco. What is Project Voco? Now, Project Voco is a software that Adobe is building and what it does, it takes 20 minutes of audio samples from you and then anything you type after that, yes, anything you type after that, it does that. E even I didn't believe it when I saw it, it, when I read it, but when I saw this video from Adobe, it blew my mind. So I need you to watch that too. So coming up. <laughs> okay, so what do we do? Easily, copy, test. Let's do it. Copy. Taste. Oh, yeah, it's done. And uh, uh, I kissed my wife and my wife. <laughs> we can just type the word. Stop here. <coughs> and and uh, uh, I kissed my wife and my dogs. And uh, uh, I kissed Jordan and my dogs. <laughs> We're not just going to do with words, we can actually type small phrases. So let's say, okay, so remove those words and we do three times. <laughs> and play back. And uh, uh, I kissed Jordan three times. <laughs> See, I don't know about you, but this video really dropped my jaw. Okay, so I have a couple of notes uh, for you so that I don't miss anything. It's just launched and I didn't get time to prepare the script and things like that. So I have a couple of notes that I would speak on. So what is Project Felix? Project Felix is simply Photoshop for audio, right? It's a Photoshop. You can simply, when you, when, you, when you speak into Adobe Project Felix, what it does, it just transcribes your speech into words. And then you can change those words, edit those words as you saw in the video. Also, it's much similar like a Word document. So instead of going into the waves and selecting the waves, selecting the certain parts of the word, what it does, it just transcribes, as I told, transcribes the speech into letters and words. And then when you edit those words, it may, makes required changes according to the voice samples it takes. Now, let me talk about how it takes voice samples. So all Adobe Project Voco needs is that your 20 minutes of voice samples. So it then analyzes your 20 minutes of voice samples and breaks it down into four names. This was a tough word and breaks it down into four names. Now, what is four names? I searched it up on the Google. If four names is nothing but units of speech, right? Four names are units of speech like PB, DEETS, things like that, that make one word different from the other. Also, Project Voco is a revolution. It is. It's an amazing idea, amazing technology. But I don't know where Adobe wants to go with this, but what will happen is soon that this will become the hash one. Yes, this will become the hash one software for criminals. It will, it can, it's not avoidable if it's launched commercially. Also, it will make us more difficult to trust recordings, making the judicial system more difficult. There hasn't been any commercial release of the product and Adobe hasn't said anything whether uh, it will release this project commercially into a software, but there are ch chances that it might. So let's stay tuned and see what happens. Okay, so for more news and more updates from the creative community, keep watching Piximperfect and do consider subscribing and I'll see you guys in my next video. Till then, stay tuned.